marianswantosirapadnationals.com signing at our channel let's study God's word so adidakin natin today is the clash by brother Alvin Barcelona the peace builder of Peace Bay area so yung bible verse natin is from Matthew 3 verse 17 so yun red yung ano natin eh. so medyo mahirap basahin nyo okay. so yung ano niya bible verse niya is from Matthew 5 verses 17. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. So, yung story ni Brother Alvin today is about yung clash ng law versus, uh, the law versus um, God's law. So, I mean, the law of the land and God's law. So, there's this tendency among us na uh, Sabi niya, he was, he attended uh, law to be a lawyer, law degree. But, yun nga, um, nagkaroon siya ng conflict between uh, the law and God's law. So, sabi niya, most likely, he will follow God's law. So, kaya hindi na siya nag-proceed sa kanyang law studies. So, sabi niya, that's why Jesus clashed with the Pharisees. So, and experts of religious law. Bakit sila nag uh, uh, conflict yung Pharisees and Jesus. It was a classic question of applying the letter of the law and the spirit of the law. So, kasi the law is subject to so many interpreta interpretations. So, nagkakaroon tayo ng conflict whether to follow it or not. Kasi maraming uh, gray areas. So, pero sabi nga ni Brother Alvin is um, we, still, we still see this today. We condemn a person for a mistake uh, by uh, without knowing all the circumstances. So, nagiging judgmental tayo. We judge people for their past, not believing they can change. So, we are quick to apply a strict standard of morality on others, but gloss over our own morals. So, parang double standard of uh, measure the bar or... Uh, Standards nga. No wonder Jesus called the law experts hypocrites. So, kasi nga parang nagkaka-conflict sila. Jesus was practical. The ano was uh, strict. Pero, they are strict. Pero in their own lives, they are not strict. So, magulo. So, sabi ni Brother Alvin, let us be law-abiding citizens. More than that, let's obey God's law. Above all, should there be a clash between the two, stand firm with your conviction. So, it's a balance of what is right in the law and what is right in the eyes of God. So, medyo, ayan, challenging. So, ano yung reflection natin? No enactment of man can be considered law unless it confirm, conforms to the law of God. So, syempre, above all, it's God. So, Lord, give me courage and resolve to stand by my faith in times of conflict. May I live by your ultimate law of love at all time. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Stay safe, everyone. God bless you all. Thank you for watching. See you on our next video.